Hi, you guys. I want to show you how to take your virtual classroom and share with your other classes really easy on Google Classroom in case you don't know how to do it. So I go up here. I said this is where I like to put my virtual classroom. I've said this in an another video is because um, students can see it real quite fast. Uh, it's the first thing that appears um, when they log into Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and type what I want um, my uh, virtual classroom little link to say. So it just tells them that this is my virtual classroom, my agenda, and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to add it. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find it on my Google Drive. You got to find where you put saved yours. And then um, I'm going to click it and I'm going to upload it. So now I've got it. I'm going to insert it. You can see it's right here, but I want all of my biology classes because that's what I teach and that's what this virtual classroom is for to be able to see it. So up here where it says four, so let me just real quick right here show you where it says four, that's what you need to select and you need to click all those classes that you want it to um, load to, to post to, I'm sorry. So you click all of them right here. I only have three, but I actually have way more. Just class hasn't, school hasn't started yet for me. So anyway, so click all those. And then you're going to go down to and you're going to post it. So now you're going to click post. And it does take sometimes a little bit, depending on how fast your Internet connection is. But it's going to post to every single one of those classes. So now if I go to period two, which you're going to see there's not much there, it's posted there. Same thing if I go to period three. Very, very cool. So if I'm going to go back to my period one real quick. Mm. Now you can do the same thing for classwork. Sometimes you don't have to post to every single um, assignment. Uh, you can, again, post to everybody at the same time. You can see I also post my virtual classroom here. I have another video showing, like, you know, again, talking about this. But so if you click create, same thing. You can click um, assignment if you want to add assignment or if you want to add your cl virtual classroom. For my virtual classroom, I add it as a material. So you can see right here, I added it as a material. Same thing. I could put, like, here is my virtual classroom. So I could put virtual classroom you can put your description you're going to click add you're going to click uh, google drive right here and then you are going to uh, find it again <clears throat> you're going to find it right here and we're going to go ahead and click insert there it is and then on this side is where you're actually going to um, be able to select all your classes you're still clicking the four so you'll click here here i want this to post to all my, all of those classes and then i can go ahead and click post and that's it. That's how you post to all of um, your classes, which, which is really nice. If you want to know how I made this, all I did was I clicked create and I wrote topic and I wrote virtual class, which I said that in another video. But anyways, yeah, it already exists because you can see I have it down below. But anyways, and then I can stick my virtual classroom right underneath it. Okay, I already did that. You can see right here. So I need to delete this. But it gives you an idea how you can share. You can do this with any assignments, anything. You can post to all of your classrooms at once. I hope that is helpful. Thanks. Bye.